In this video, I will show you how to update a dip in HTML using AJS AX or only use JavaScript. So you can see here the first number here is update based on the AJX using the test.php from the server side data. Update this one. The second number here is the only use JavaScript. Let's take a look at the code. Because I use the AJX and jQuery, so I first want to call the latest uh, jQuery library called code.jQuery.com, jQuery latest JS, so I can use AJX and uh, jQuery. So I define a cache date here. Another is the data from this from jQuery language from the content of from the deep bottom bar so in here we can see this is the deep id is the bottom bar so we dot html it is a content so it's a test later i will update this test this part so i call a define a set interval call a set interval function here Set interval is the three hundred. This is three hundred. Yeah. This is three hundred. It's three hundred milliseconds. Each each time update is three hundred milliseconds. So I in here I call AJX. So URL is the test PHP. The data is from test PHP. Type is post. Data is date data type I post in the HTML format here. So I call after success I call a function here. If data is not equal cache data, if the data is not updated, this data is uh, not e equal to the original data, we can update this data, data put the cache data here and update the bottom bar HTML put in the data here. So update the dip for this one. Another one is a uh, simple update user JavaScript. We can use the function refresh dip. So when I refresh dip, I just put the content here. So I just use a very simple document dot get element by ID dot in the HTML. I put a test in and counter. The content we can see here is updated because the each five hundred milliseconds is refreshed so this is the simple JavaScript update for the testing this tip so let's run this code you can see here this is from the test.php this is from the JavaScript Excel Okay, I will show you where what is the test.php. So I have test.php. Test.php is just very simple. I go hello world counter equal random. I put a random number here. So finally, I echo this counter out. So this two echo one is hello world, hello one is the counter. So when you look at this one, and run this. You can see a hello world here. Yeah. This is the one test the PHP hello world. So if I use the update dip this one, we we'll run this one. You can see here now it's hello world. The list number is keep updating because test PHP there's a number here, render number here, update. So in summary. Uh, we can use AJX to update dip in HTML from server side. We also can simply use JavaScript to update a dip here, JavaScript code. Thanks for your watching.